Osio. I just wanted to, you know, make a comment, and, and I'm going to uh, leave a, a, a little link, uh, you know, an annotation, a, a link uh, on this video for you to click on. And, uh, you know, to kind of see what's going on now. now I kind of talked too fast there. To let you see what is going on, what has happened, what will happen. Okay. See, America has always been complacent. Always up here, you know. Oh, look at us. Oh, we're invincible. It was kind of like the Titanic, wasn't it? Look what happened to it. But anyway... Uh, you know, I hear constantly, and some, you know, a lot of you have, but, you know, about how peaceful Islam is. And, you know, you, you hear about uh, the, the gay rights, the abortionists' uh, rights, and everyone's rights and all this you know you know when we tell you what they're, they're what they're fighting for they're fighting for the right to persecute you as a christian i'm not i mean for you know it, it's just horrible at the things that they do to christians and they got all kinds of excuses for what they do they want to throw you in prison. They want to beat you. They want to kill you. They want to torture you. Whether that torture means physical, verbal, or mental, or all of the above there. You know what I mean? They want to do this to you. Because you are a Christian. Now, I'm not talking about you who are going out who's provoking fights. There's some of you that's claiming to be Christians who is provoking stuff. What you've asked for is something that... What you've done was go out and provoke something, and you begged for it, and you got it. That's, that's not being persecuted for Christ. That's a troublemaker. I'm not talking about troublemakers. I'm talking about Christians. They've been, they've been persecuted all across different countries, and it's come here. And it ain't full blown yet. You think you seem full blown? You ain't seen nothing yet. I want to have that little clip for you to, you know, link for you to, to check it out. But that's what the, I mean, those, that's the things that they want to do to you, and that's what's coming. And the question is. As Christians haven't been in America who's been so complacent, are you going to be able to stand the test? If you're caught, are you going to be able to stand a beating or without denying Christ? Are you going to take the beating? Are you going to torture? You know, we're talking, I mean, they're going to do a lot of things. They're going to kill you just outright. They're going to do all kinds of horrible things. So the question is, what metal are you made out of? Something to think about. And uh, a lot of people never like it when you expose their darkness, what they are like. Jesus talked about it. But they have been judged by Yeshua's words Jesus his words his words will judge them and their own deeds their own actions will judge them all men good or bad will be judged by our actions and these people they, they all claim it. it doesn't matter what they are uh, who or what they are you know whether it's gays uh, uh, Muslims and by the way, I know that not all Muslims is, is you know, out to kill you. I'm talking about those who follow uh, faithfully 
the Islam religion. All right, those, uh, I mean, the list is, is so long. I mean, you got all types out there who want to kill and hurt uh, Christians. And, and these are coming from people claiming to be peaceful, okay? But they want to torture you. They want you thrown in prison. They want you kicked out of school. They want to make your life miserable. And even admit it. I've seen videos on here where they admit it. And so haven't you. You've seen that. It's all over. Yeah. All because you believe in Yeshua. Because you believe in what God's holy word says. Now again, I am not talking about you who go around and start fights and pick them. And claiming to be Christian. I'm not talking about you. You've been getting picked on because... You start things. I'm not talking about you. All right. I'm off to the side. I'm talking about you who stand up for Christ. Who have the love of Yeshua in your heart. And, and, and if any of you is just only pretending, well, it's going to come out. You know, it's kind of like... Um, what? How's that old expression go? Uh... Well, this is what separates the men from the boys, or this is what separates the women from the girls. Your metal is fixing to be tested. And it will show whether you are who you say you are. If you're a Christian, if you believe in Yeshua, it will show. It will show. Okay? So, where is your allegiance? Is your allegiance in an ideal such as political, uh, just a, a little old personal thing, you know? Uh, uh, is, is it some kind of false religion or, or what? You know, what is, where is your allegiance? Okay, is it your allegiance in a country, a flag? Is that where your allegiance is, as some kind of uh, patriotic ideal thing uh, a racial thing is that where your allegiance is or is it in one one Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ is that where your allegiance is that's what it's boiling down to that's what it's coming down right to the head so where are you going to stand that's the real question. Now we can all say, we're Christians. We're Christians. I'm a Christian. But what's going to test us is the coming events. Where is your allegiance? What metal are you made of? Good question. So ask yourself this, okay? It's coming, and it's coming fast. So, oh yeah, you've talked the talk, oh, but you're going to get more in your fair share of walking the walk, because it's going to show. Just like those people overseas, they have been persecuted, killed, and everything tortured for Yeshua. question is, would you take what they have did? Would you stand up? You've seen those pictures, you've seen what they have, you, you heard their testimony, you've heard it, you've seen it. Can you do it? That's a good question. But you're going to find out whether you can or not. And if you're claiming to be a Christian and you're really, really not 100%, you know, it'll be come out in the wash in the end because you're going to be wanting to protect your rear, you know, while your brothers and sisters will die for Yeshua or they will die to protect you because they follow the teachings of Yeshua who said love your enemies to die for the brethren while you are running and being a coward while you are not for real so these are things you need to think about and, and, and understand what's coming and this is a fact and I hope that you stand the test God bless you Shalom I hope.